you guys are both seniors. You've both been with the program for so long. What does it mean to be league champs? Go ahead, Spence. Um, you know, just like the amount of work we've put into this, all of us seniors, you know, played together since four years. We started off, you know, we were we were pretty bad our yeah. freshman year. We were one and nine, you know, and we, we really worked our way to this. We wake up at 5 a.m. in the off season, you know, we're all grinding for each other. You know, we created a brotherhood. You know, it's more of a, like, family than a team, definitely. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think all that work, you know, finally showing out to people. Last year showed out a little, you know, we came up short in the playoffs, but, you know, we're, we're looking to go far this year. Yeah. And, Nicholas, how does it feel to be a league champ? Um, first, I want to give glory to God. Yeah, man, it feels amazing. You know, we came a long way from 4 a.m. workouts. We just all We just all stuck through. And look at us now, league champs. Let's go. You got, you know, I was talking with uh, Coach Viana earlier in pregame, and I said, you know, you guys went from being the underdog story last year to now you're top dogs. Everyone wants a piece of you guys. And what is that feeling like? Has it changed the way you prepare for games? Um, I think definitely a little bit. Like, uh, we're expected to go out there and win games. You know, last year going in with that underdog mentality, it's easy to get energy, easy to get pumped up. But when you go up and you're favorites, you know, sometimes it's hard to get that energy. But I think because of how close we are, we know this is our last ride together, so we, we can get it all going. So, yes, sir. What does it mean to be captains of this Decatur team? Both of you guys are captains, and you both really lead your group, Spencer, on offense, and Nicholas, you on defense. Yes, um, I think just like, you know, all those guys, as I said, like it's a family. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they all trust me. They all love e – like we all love each other. So, you know, being a captain is just like kind of just making sure everybody's on point, you know, making sure my guys are going, you know, keeping them up. Yeah. You know, it gets it gets hard, you know, like in the past, if you're like up a lot, down a lot, you know, it's really hard to, you know, stay in those games. But I think those early seasons of us learning how to lose together really brought us together and we know how to win together. Yeah, yeah Nicholas, you have anything to uh, add to that? Yeah, uh, being a captain is a great feeling. Uh, freshman year, I barely played. Couldn't even get in a three-point stance. And now <laughs> I'm a captain now. So, you know, I, I just love all my guys. You know, yeah, I just want the best for them too. Well, uh, Nicholas, you really utilized the three-point stance effectively. You're in there in the backfield a ton tonight. Uh, what was the defensive game plan? Honestly, just straight hands, hands, hands. That's all we were going through the practice. We knew why River wasn't no joke. Like, they're a 4-2 team. So we had to really take them serious. Like, the score was 26. Like, it, was a, it was a good game. Yeah, it, it was a really good game. But the defense for you guys – 12 straight quarters where you held opponents scoreless. First off, did you even know that? And secondly, are you guys really starting to find a rhythm defensively? Yeah, honestly, I think we got the best front seven in the state, to be honest. Especially with Nehemiah back, it's crazy. I, I believe we have the best front seven in the state. Well, how awesome was that, getting Nehemiah back? You were able to hand it off to him a little bit, Spencer, but on the defensive side where he played the majority of the ball game, Nicholas, what was that like having him right behind you? Honestly, I, um, I like Nehemiah at defense more than offense. <laughs> like he's, a, he's a defensive player in, in my eyes, so it felt good to see him back on the field. That's my brother I've known since sixth grade, so like it was really good to see him on the field playing with us. And then Spencer, first time you hand it off to him, he breaks off a nice little run, picks up the first down. What was that like in the huddle? I just uh, was remembering how much I miss him. I was running back. You know, <laughs> yeah. He was that guy Definitely. last year, you Definitely. know, MVP of our league pretty much last mm -hmm. year. Um, you know, it's a big loss for us this year, but I think we've really grown as a team from that. And mm -hmm. now that coming, having come back in the playoffs, we're, we're at full steam heading into the playoffs. Yeah, well, uh, you had a couple of touchdowns tonight. Let's walk through them first. Uh, the touchdown pass, uh, that came all the way back in the first quarter, the very first drive. Fourth down, what are you seeing? Um, you know, we kind of talked. They like to play over the top a lot. And, you know, like going through it, I just scrambled out, went downfield, you know, saw my guy coming across the field, give him a chance to make a play. Sam's a great player, you know. Doesn't get as much credit as I think he deserves, so. Yeah, and uh, Sam, another one of those seniors, and sure. uh, he's able to step up, make a play. He was playing all over the place tonight, and then how about your 55-yard touchdown run? You break one loose again. Yeah, I mean, that was a designed uh, running back run, but I kind of have the freedom in the offense now to take anything I want. So, you know, I saw they were loading the box up, like saw it's a numbers game, you know, football's really just a numbers game. They loaded that box, so I knew I had the outside, and I trust all my guys to make the block, so. Do you have the green light now to just keep it whenever, or, yeah, or yeah, is yeah. it pretty much depending on the play? I can I can pretty much keep the ball whenever I want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can, I can pretty much keep the ball whenever I want. So yeah. And then it doesn't make you guys better on defense having to practice against that? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, what's that like trying to defend? It's hard. Uh, He's a slippery, slippery guy. Yeah. 
what what are you seeing out there on those plays and what exactly are you looking for on the on those RPO plays or the read options yeah I just try to see like positioning and numbers basically like on the RPOs they don't get enough guys out there you know try to get it to my guys in space you know if they're not lining up over top of them um, but you know it's very hard to stop because we can run it inside I can run it outside or we can throw it outside it's really just kind of a triple option for us. Uh, this one's for both of you guys. Is there any player that you guys model your game after or that you look up to in either college or pros where you're like, I want to emulate this this player? Um, I mean, I was a big, like, Aaron Rodgers fan growing up. I'm not really, like, his play style, but, you know, I kind of just, like, looked up to him, like, the way he throws the ball and stuff like that. Um, but I'd say, like, I don't know, college or NFL college, I feel like Kyler Murray kind of. Mm -hmm. I'm not very big. You know, I'm an undersized guy, but I try to use my athleticism to make plays. Um, honestly, I like Byron Murphy. Like, we're, like, basically the same size. He's undersized. He plays he plays good, too, very strong. I definitely look up to him. Yeah, well, you guys you guys play up well above your size, and yeah. it's not just it's not just agility, but it's also strength, too. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it like in the off season, and what has it been like transforming from freshmen to becoming these senior leaders? Um, it's crazy, like, the amount of work we put in, you know, uh, Uso Oliva, one of our strength coaches, you know, he does a great job with us. Yeah. Um, you know, we're in there every morning every from morning. like Four November, November yeah. all the way to the basically the summer and summer workouts as well. Um, they get us on a great program. Um, they know how to train college guys. Like, they they build us up. You know, we we try to eat right. You know, I was like 145 freshman year. I'm like 170 now. Like, and it's pretty much all muscle. Like, it's just crazy the transformations everybody's made. Like, from from freshman year. Yeah, Nicholas, you were talking a little bit about that. You you pointed out that you could barely get into the three-point stance, but now to be a senior, you're getting sacks, tackles for loss. What's that been like? Man, it feels amazing to be honest. Like, I never would have thought. Freshman year, it was, like, it was all bad. I couldn't even get in three-point stance. I thought football was over for me, but <laughs> – I just stuck to it. Yeah, it's been it's been really impressive to see you guys go from just having one win two years ago. You get to eight wins last year, but now you're winning the league. How long are you going to be able to celebrate this victory before you have to buckle down to play a really tough Todd Beamer team next week? Uh, yeah, I think we'll celebrate it tonight. Yeah. Get straight back to work tomorrow. Straight back to work. Watch our film, you know, mm -hmm. tomorrow morning. Go through it. Um, talk with the coaches about it, and get a game plan going by Saturday for Beamer. Beamer's you know, no quick joke. turnaround. Um, Thursday night game again. So pretty quick turnaround, and, you know, we're going to get ready as fast as possible. They're a great team, mm -hmm. and, you know, we want to go finish this season out great. Uh, Nicholas, you are you just said, you know, Todd Beamer's no joke, and it, it's going to be another battle out here. And uh, do you know anything about their offense yet? Just a quarterback. He's really, like, all they got. Mm -hmm. Quarterback's really nice. Yep. So you, you practice against the quarterback quite a bit, so you might have a little yeah. bit of an advantage there yeah. in practice. Mm -hmm. uh, wh what does it mean, like, to you guys to close out senior year having such a great a great you know year two years really but you know to, to be the senior leaders and to close it out with you know an eight no run so far um I think it's just crazy because you know you never would have thought that if you looked at us freshman year you know we were just a bunch of kids playing football and you know we really grew up together and that's why we're so good I think together is we really grew up and like developed as players together so we know how to win together I agree with Spence uh, two last ones for you. First, what are you guys' plans after high school? Um, so I plan, I want to play either college football or baseball, um, you know, wherever that is, you know, D2, D3, wherever it is, D1, you know, um, whatever gives me the best opportunity, you know. Um, and then after that, you know, maybe be a firefighter or something. Oh, really interesting. Nicholas? Um, honestly, it's up to God. I really want to play football after school, so if that's the path for me, then that is the path. Yeah, you guys definitely have some bright futures ahead of you. Got to follow up, though. Would you rather play football or rather play baseball? Uh, football. Football, so yeah. Football. <laughs> yeah, definitely football. Um, just got to get those offers coming Come in. On. <laughs> well, with the way you're throwing and running and with the way you are playing on the defensive line, surely a bright future ahead in football. Uh, what, what? Overall, obviously the goal, it's to make it to Husky Stadium. It's to play in the state championship. Yes, sir. Obviously that would mean a lot. How do you get there, though? Yeah, I think just continuous work, you know. Preparation. Yeah, preparation, film, work at practice. You know, iron sharpens iron. We need our best on our best. Like mm -hmm. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna give them 100 percent at practice. I want them to give me 100 percent at practice, and that's what's gonna make us better. Nicholas, anything to add before we let you go? Yeah, um, just preparation. Hopefully, we get there. So. <laughs>
Well, best of luck. Congratulations Thank on the eight and zero start. Congratulations on clinching the league first time in state program history, and now finally you get to look up in the gym, it's and it's not empty yes, anymore. Sir, not <laughs> empty. You have some ink up there. That was <laughs> so amazing. That's very, yeah, that's awesome. So congratulations, guys. You guys are both very well-spoken Thank young you. men, bright futures ahead of you. So that Thank was you, our co-MVPs, Spencer Holloway and also Nicholas Leo. So you guys can take off the headsets. We'll let you go celebrate with your team in the locker room.